what do you want to do? I like Yusuf's idea where we... You are the diamond in the rough. Say what is in your heart. Does that sound like someone with a master plan? He was the first one to mention Pioneer Square. The November 4th test bomb was completely orchestrated by the FBI. Yeah. The defendant had nothing to do with this plan. True. You say again to the defendant, the less you know, the better. Yeah. You were at the site the day before with several other agents. Yeah. The FBI constructed the test bomb? Yeah. You instructed the defendant to dial the phone? Yep. He messed up a couple of times, and you had to tell him the numbers two or three times. Yeah. Let's finish up with audio from the car ride back. Do you know anything about explosives, my love? No, uh, except for Piccolo Pete. You know, the one you put in a Gatorade bottle? Piccolo Pete. The one you put in a Gatorade bottle? is He is telling an Al-Qaeda bomb maker about Piccolo Pete. Did this make sense to you? Did this make you think he wasn't too bright? We needed to assess his mindset. No more questions. Mr. Bishop, anything on redirect? Thank you, Your Honor. On the very first meeting with the defendant, who said explosive first? The defendant did. How long into that first meeting did he start talking about explosives? It was ten minutes into the very first meeting. All you asked him is, what do you want? That's right. Why didn't you have any information going into that first meeting? I like to go in cold. In addition to assessing, was your job also to collect evidence? Of course. Why do you say he can stop? We wanted him to know that he could stop any time, that there would be no shame. I really liked him. Why do you ask him how long have you been thinking about this? We had to assess his mindset. No more questions, Your Honor. Ms. Monet, recross. You only had to say, what do you want? Yes. Do you remember that Yousef then interrupted the defendant? Yeah. Instructed the defendant to relate what they talked about in that unrecorded July 30th meeting? I don't see it like that. No more questions. Mr. Bishop, call your next witness. The government calls Yousef back to the stand. Leading up to the November 26th bomb attempt at Pioneer Square, did the defendant ever hesitate? No. What was his demeanor? He was excited. Can you go over the chronology on November 26th? I picked up the defendant in Beaverton. We went to the Home Depot. We met Hussein at the hotel. We all walked down to take a look at the van. Is this Hussein and Youssef looking at the bomb? A plain white no-window van viewed from the back. Hussein and the defendant are looking in the open side doors. Yes, the defendant said he loved the smell. Then what happened? We went back to the hotel for a meal. What did the defendant do the night before? He told me he went shopping. He was happy. Why were you nervous? For the defendant's consequences. We had built a relationship. When's the last time you saw him? After arming the bomb at Pioneer Square, they walked to the bike store where I picked them up. They dropped me off at the train station. The defendant seemed at peace. The no defendant more questions, seemed at Your Honor. We're listening to the original Kebu docudrama, Mo is Shy, and we will return in just a moment. <laughs> 